Hey, my name is Andrew Puglisi. I'm 28 years old from Jersey City, New Jersey, and I am ready to be the next survivor. I work for the nationally syndicated Elvis Duran in the Morning Show with Jeff, you're super familiar with. I mean, I just saw you this week. Being an executive assistant, my job is basically to be in someone else's head and think one step ahead of them. I'm managing artists and their needs. I'm managing Elvis's needs. I'm managing the show's needs all at one time. Taking that skill and translating it over to Survivor, no one can get one over on me because I'm going to be over always thinking five steps ahead of them. A lot of people when they first meet me think that I'm mild-mannered, easygoing, calm, nice. I play the nice guy card really well, but secretly inside I'm planning people's destruction. <laughs> I'm fine in social situations. I'm really good at reading the room and figuring out what I kind of need to get from people. I can play stupid really well. It's a trap. I'm just using it to get information out of you. and You can't see it. Diamond, why did you come in here and why would I win Survivor? Well, number one, I'm obsessed with Andrew. <laughs> Let me tell you why. He's funny, he's nice. He's also like, not rude, but like a bad bitch, you know what I mean? How many seasons have we, have we been trying to bribe <laughs> Jeff Probst? Ooh, okay, so to, it's to 20, put you on Survivor? 20, yeah, it's been since 2017. <laughs> so three full years. I want to be on this show so bad because I want to prove to myself that I am all those things I just described and more. My life is focused around Elvis's life, the show's life. I don't really get to live outside of that bubble. <laughs> no, I, I have no fun. I mean, I host a podcast about eating cereal, so. <laughs> uh, you don't know anything about the cereal on the cereal podcast that you are supposedly a co-host of? There's yeah. a lot of cereal. What's this? Did we try this one? I don't remember. On Survivor, I have 39 days to just focus on me, what my wants are, what my needs are, and doing whatever it takes to get to the end to make sure I'm fulfilled. This is spoken from a kid who's had some advantage in life. Yeah. You see, he doesn't want to admit it, but Andrew's family, they're they are always yachting around the world. I mean, he's- Oh, he's really? One time. <laughs> <laughs> one time is a lot of times. We have 10 million people listening right now, though. <laughs> it's true. So that's an advantage. I'm tired of being asked by my friends, my family, social media, for when I'm going to be on Survivor. My time is now. The social media comments I get consistently are, when are you going to be on Survivor? And you know what I tell them? Ask Jeff Probst. <laughs> this is my time. I am more ready now than I've ever been in my entire life. Two years ago when I went out for finals casting, I was not as confident as I am now and ready and willing and able to prove that I can and will be the next sole survivor.